At the empire's greatest extent, under Emperor Trajan, the total length of the Roman border stretched over 32,000 kilometers, or around 80% of the Earth's total circumference. But how did borders really work before the age of satellite imagery? And how did the Romans enforce and protect their borders? Before the rise of modern cartography, borders were much more fluid than they are today. They were often delineated using natural landmarks, such as rivers and mountain ranges. And often borders were not clear lines, but shifting regions. They were claimed by either both or neither of two neighboring states simultaneously. While diplomatic efforts to ensure clear delineation of borders were common during ancient and medieval times, disputes due to ambiguous or contested claims were a frequent driver of conflict between nations. The Romans specifically enforced their borders through a web of frontier fortifications, consisting of walls, forts, watchtowers, and defensive structures, strategically positioned along vulnerable sections of the border. Certain key points on the border might have been reinforced by permanent military garrisons, while less crucial sections would have been monitored by small border patrols. On the frontiers bordering particularly hostile tribes and nations, the Romans would erect more permanent fortifications. The Limes Germanicus, for example, was a stone wall over 550 kilometers in length that served to protect the Roman lands in modern-day France, Austria and Italy from Germanic invasions. Another important border fortification of the Romans was the 120 kilometers long Hadrian's Wall, protecting Roman Britannia from incursions of the savage Picts. Like the Limes, this wall served not only to delineate Roman borders, but to signal Roman dominance and stability to its foes. Now as always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and become a channel member to enjoy exclusive benefits.